Nerdlings. What? Tom. Lacey. VGM. Floyd. Do you nerd? One of the most satisfying times of the month is when a new VGM box shows up at the door. Yep, because at least you're getting yours. Mine's wrapped up in litigation. Oh, that's a loot crate. Look at that box. Whoa. It's a bit bulgy. Whoa. Can you see I don't, that? I don't know how I feel about you checking out Floyd's bulge. <laughs> oh, wow. But, but wow. This, this box is clearly ready to burst open full of retro gaming goodness which you can have sent straight to your door and add to your collection because you do not have to send them back they are yours to keep and they are retro from the atari all the way up to the less so retro as the wii u and ps3 less so retro less so retro i like it we need that all right you ready I am ready. Let's see what Floyd's got for us today. Now, Holy nerdlings, moly. she loves to blindly hand the games off to me. I do. This thing is jam-packed full of goodies. But she's not going to tell me what I'm any of those goodies to. are. Here you go. So here is the card that says, win three free games, share a photo of this month's box on their Facebook page. Okay, everybody hold still. get that social media to work and get some extra games. This is the card that says, go in there and update your list. See, they have an online list for you to fill out so you don't get any duplicates as long as you update it. Click, check, click. You ready for your up? I'm ready. <laughs> so it must have a one up. One up. By the way, I just want to show off, she made this. <laughs> just saying, she made this out of yarn and love. <laughs> We do the three game a month box, so now we have four. There's also a little card in here. <laughs> oh, nice. So they packed in a card for the Switch Mania podcast done by JP Switch Mania. I will have to try to remember to drop a link down in the description below in case you haven't checked them out as well. And our free gift. It's squishy. Ooh, a koozie. We love we, these. We do. We put these to use. We, we use these all the time. Everywhere. And hey, actually, you know what? That'll be very handy. We can have a travel one and leave some at home. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right, your first one. Here you go. Oh, God, that's cool. So a Game Gear game. And wow, first of all, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's in great condition, but it's Batman, Batman Returns. Batman Returns. It's like I can hear the theme in my head, but not well enough to hum it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So I have to say, I love Batman Returns on Super Nintendo, and I always enjoyed how it was a different game than the one on Sega Genesis, and then the one on Sega CD is different, so I'm hoping this is going to be a whole new experience. I just love the Batman Returns stuff. Mm -hmm. On the Game Gear one, does it do like what it does where you can hit the wall and pull it and knock the guy down? Ooh, we'll have to see. I always love that move. That is such a great move to carry over from the movie into the game. <laughs> you missed. Do the Bart Man. I will do the Bart Man. Do the Bart Man. Tiny Bart Man. If you could do the Bart, you're bad, like Michael Jackson. Oh, everybody, if you can do the Bart, man. You can do the Bart, you're bad, like Michael Jackson. So, Escape from Camp Deadly. Now, I do not have a history with handheld games. Um, I played a couple could of the... Could it be because your hands are too big? <laughs> <laughs> but I played a couple of the Simpson games on uh, Nintendo and Super Nintendo and so on. But I remember reading about this one in Nintendo Power a lot because I think there's a moment where you can help a character that looks like Jason Voorhees and honestly that is the only thing that ever stuck with me because 
I think as a kid, my hero was Jason Voorhees. That's messed up. Is that a little wrong? That's a little messed up. Ready for the next one? Ready. Okay. <laughs> so, I know it's not the music. But he knows that's but the music I, know, I use I know it, what I you're going for. So it's got to be... It's got to be a Mortal Kombat game. I can't game. ever get it right, but that's what I use for Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Ooh, boxed. So Mortal Kombat 2 for Sega Genesis. How does it really go? Future Tom will answer. Well, no, no, no. Don't do it, Future Tom. You'll get flagged. Yeah, don't do that. I'll play it for you later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no manual, but we do have the cartridge in there. And it is Mortal Kombat 2, not the first one. The funny thing is... Actually, I'm kind of surprised I didn't already have this in the collection, but I get the feeling we have Mortal Kombat 2 on um, like two or three yeah. other systems. It looks in pretty decent condition except for the top. It looks like the top um, label has just a little bit of mess up on it. It's, it's a little worn, like, like looks it, like it's kind of coming loose. That just means it's a well-loved copy. Fight. All right, so there should be one more. It's on your favorite system. Oh, the Super Nintendo. Like me some Super Nintendo. And it's in space. The only thing that's coming to my mind is Star Fox. <laughs> no! Star wing, Wars? Wing Super Commander. Star oh. oh, nice. Look, they even put it in a little protective case, too. I know. Well, the 3D space combat simulator. I didn't know what the theme song to Wing Commander was. Oh, ho. Oh, nice. We do nice. have the manual, a manual in the box. Oh my gosh. Okay, no uh no extra bits in there, but that's fine. But yeah, look how gorgeous Actually, that cartridge is. I don't think this was ever used. Oh. What punk ass kid was like, Gee thanks, Grandma, I got Wing Commander. What it's Star Fox! Gosh! Well, gosh! The funny thing is, is the box has a lot of wear. Like, clearly it has a lot of shelf wear on it. Right. From, like, being, you know, put in and out of a shelf or something. But, obviously, maybe it was just moved around a lot, because that cartridge does not look used at all. Now, I will say, I have not played this one, and just looking at the back, it looks like you've got some scenes where maybe you're going to be on the deck of the ship. Uh, it almost looks like some animated, maybe some, uh, like, pre-drawn, pre-rendered scenes. <laughs> Ash. From far away, it looks like Ash Williams. <laughs> and I'm willing to bet that uh, right here is a hand on a joystick, so this must be like a cockpit view, giving you that uh, first-person feel of being out in space. Either blowing people up or taking your aggression out on some poor nebula. What did she ever do to you? Tried to kill Gamora. Yeah, well, maybe Gamora deserved it. <laughs> but this is awesome. Yeah, this is a I, pretty good haul. I love getting box stuff anyways. And the Wing Commander games, holy cow, they just kept going and going. The later ones had a bunch of, like, actors, you know, visually, and their voices were part of the games. Mark Hamill. Is, oh, that was one? It? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you so, got me that one. Was it on the 3DO? Uh, it may have been. I think yeah. so, the 3DO yeah. version. I didn't care what the game was. It had Mark Hamill in it. And she was so... And I was like, I get this for me. And he goes, oh, twist my arm to buy a video game. <laughs> so this was a very awesome box. Nice. I'm very much looking yes. forward to these. That's awesome. Two boxed games. That's really, yeah. really awesome. Definitely explains why that box is bulging with retro goodies so guys you've got to leave me some comments down below talk about some of these games batman simpsons mortal Kombat. holy this is like right here this is like 90 central oh my gosh right yeah here. we just need some surge and Ooh. we need a can of surge inside that uh, koozie <laughs> way to That'd fail BGM. you didn't send a surge guys should send some surge <laughs> Leave some comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I just want to hurry through this video because I want to try some of these out. I'm, I'm pretty interested in this Wing Commander to see how it plays. It doesn't have Mark Hamill in it. I don't care. Yeah, she doesn't care. I don't no care. Mark Hamill. <laughs> don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to TeePublic because we've got merchandise over there. And if we like it, nerdlings... 
queen commander it. No, we nerd it. I'll do the games, you do the bubble okay. I'm short. Help, help, she's mad. I wasn't ready. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like how I ask if you're ready. Yep. Nope, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I thought when he said ready, you meant not ready. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Get out <of> the bags. <laughs> okay. <laughs>